Hey, what's good? Today, we're playing Phasmophobia, a spooky game about ghosts and such. Now, you probably already know this game. Uh, a lot of people have played it. Uh, I have played it a little bit. I mean, not a lot, as evidenced by the fact that I'm only level 3. But, I have seen a whole slew of videos of other people doing it, so I'm basically an expert by this point. So, I think we're just going to go in and play this game. Uh, now, if you don't know what this is then uh, I'll tell you. <laughs> it's a game where you go in, you got all your tools, I've already got all my tools set up in here, and you go and hunt for ghosts, and you try and catch them. Well, no, you don't catch them. This isn't Ghostbusters. You don't catch them. I lied about that part. But no, you, you find the ghosts, and it's very spooky, and it uses open mic, uh, which I happen to have a new one of those for. Hi. Just because it's a, it's a little better than this thing uh this thing is not as as good as i remember it being for some reason so i have this one now so that's good all oh, right and we should be about in yep here we go all right so you can see all of our equipment on the shelves Ooh. yeah i do i already know how to do all this i'm an expert i'm an expert out shut up all right, uh, so we have to discover what type of ghost we're dealing with. Uh, so that's what we use all the tools for, obviously. Uh, detect a room below 10 degrees Celsius with a thermometer. Prevent, prevent the ghost from hunting with a crucifix. I don't know, I have a crucifix. Uh, and capture a photo of the ghost. Okay. Uh, then we're investigating. The ghost's name is Maria Moore. Okay, so we'll keep that in mind. And the ghost also seems to respond to everyone. Okay, so, you know, normally you play this game with uh, more than one person, you know, because usually you have friends and stuff, but, uh, I mean, I'm playing this by myself, so I guess everyone is just me. Uh, actually, there's three people here. There's me, myself, and I, so uh, I think we should be pretty good. Yeah, so we've got his name here, and the name, when you say its name out loud, it gets angry. So that's not good. Or maybe it is good, I don't know. Okay, so I believe this is the UV flashlight. Yes, uh, I'll put that back. I think this is the regular flashlight. I'll put that up here. And I believe this down here is the strong flashlight that I bought. Yep, okay, so I'm gonna want this. And I think a good preliminary thing is the EMF reader, just to find out where the ghost is, uh, and then I think I'll have the camera, just in case I need to snap a photo. Okay, so just remember the ghost's name is Maria Moore. I'm going to need all of you to remember that. Uh, okay, let's go. Did I make sure I get everything? Did I get the key? I did get the key. Okay. Alright, here we are. We're at this spooky house. Wow, crazy. There are ghosts and such, and the like. Okay, so now here we go. Uh, we can also press F to use our flashlight when we're using other items, and I can right click to use my EMF reader. So now we just need to go around the house, and once we find an EMF signal, then we know that the ghost is there, and then we can start doing our detective work to figure out what even the heck the ghost is. Okay. So this is the most boring part of the game, just walking around looking for the ghost. You know, I'm not a fan of those noises, and I would appreciate if you would stop. Uh, laundry room. Nothing in the laundry. Nothing in the laundry. Oh, 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 oh. I got EMF 5. Alright, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, uh, hop on out real quick. Uh, because I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Uh, okay. So that's already something. That's already an evidence that we can use. It jumped up to EMF level 5 immediately. So we can put that right here in our journal. And we need three things in order to find out what the ghost is. And now we have one of them. Okay. No, oh, I accidentally took a picture. <laughs> God, I, I accidentally took a picture. Okay. Uh, so I think we'll grab the temperature now because we should be able to find a, a room below 10 degrees Celsius, and also if we find a room uh, below 0 degrees Celsius, 
then that counts as one of our evidences. Oh, the light is on now. Oh, goody, goody, goody. Uh, so it was just around here, I believe. Wasn't it? Was it around here? Or was it, like, in here? Oh, okay. So it's it's below, it's below 10 Celsius here. So I should have that objective crossed off. Is it in this bathroom? It might be in this bathroom, fam. Um, okay, I think, so I think it's in the bathroom. So, we've gotten a room below 10 degrees Celsius, so we should get extra money for that for completing that objective, but it was not below freezing, so that's not an evidence that we can use. Alright, so put that back. I think what we'll do now is I'm going to leave the camera here. I'm going to take this camera. This is a video camera. And I'm going to take the journal. Okay. So now we're just going to go back into the bathroom where the ghosty is. And we're going to put down the video camera. And we're going to leave the journal in there. So it's right in here. He's taking a poop. Real good poop. Um, okay, so we should be able to just leave this journal right there. Why can't put it put it down? Put the journal down. Put it on the toilet. There we go. Okay, it, it wanted to go on the toilet. Um, okay, and now the camera. Can I? Can I like move this? Okay. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's, uh, that's in my ears. That, uh, spooked me. Yeah, you spooked me. Don't do that. I, I don't recommend doing that. That's spooky. Okay, uh, let me pick that up. Uh, how do we rotate this thing? How do, how do, how, how do you rotate? Oh, um, the sink turned on. Sick, it's dirty. Crazy, man. The plumbing is bad. Uh, how do you, how, for the love of God, how do you rotate this? Uh, I'm glad the light is on in here. Because that makes it less spooky. How do you rotate this? Oh, the light also just turned on in the bathroom. That's good. Uh, how, how, how do you, how do you rotate it? No, that's just a flashlight. I'm pressing the buttons. Uh, I don't, I don't know how to rotate this. I, I don't know how to rotate this. Nope, that's flashlight. Uh, okay, sick. So I don't know how to rotate the camera. That's good. That's, oh, that's not good. That's not very nice of you. How dare you. I'm personally offended. Alright, you know, I'm just gonna put that down. Uh, oh! I just hold left click. Did I just plop the camera on the ground? No, pick it up. No, pick it up. Okay, well, I mean, now it's not rotating the camera. Okay, so I have to rotate it on the floor. Or else it don't want to listen to me. Uh, and then we can just plop that on the counter. Sick. Did I turn it on? Let me make sure I turned it off. Also, let me turn off the faucet because we're not trying to kill the environment here. How do, how do I know if this is turned on or not? Alright, I guess we'll know once we leave. Alright, please don't close the door. 
Thank you. I really appreciate it. Whew. Spooky stuff. Spooky, spooky stuff. Okay. So, if I did turn it on... Um, hey! There we go. I can see. So, we just need to look for ghost orbs. Oh, I should have turned the lights off. That would have been smart. That would have been a smart thing to do. Okay, well, I'm going to take the spirit box and the uh, the UV flashlight, and I'm going to head back in there because I'm a brave little boy. Hmm. All right. Oh, the ghost wrote it in the book. Six, I'll put that in there. Uh, I think that might actually be... Yeah. Okay, so ghost writing. Nice. Alright, so now... What is this? Oh, it's the UV. Um... Yeah, let's try spirit box first. Are you here? Ah! And there we go, we can leave. Goodbye, house! Yay! Alright. So... The ghost spoke in the spirit box, which means you can put down spirit box as one of your evidences. And that means we are dealing with an Oni, which is a Japanese ghost. Um, I don't know, man. It's super Japanese. But yay, we figured out the ghost. And we don't need to collect the stuff that's in the house, I don't think. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you make it out alive, then it stays with you. Uh, if not, then oh well. Uh, that was great. <laughs> Ghost adventure! We did it! We did the ghosting thing, with only minor spooks. Did I get it? Yeah! And we got the second objective, which was to detect a uh, room below 10 degrees Celsius, so we got more money! I didn't get a picture of the ghost, though. That was the other thing I could have done. Nah, who cares? But I got 30 bucks, and I'm level 4 now. Yay. Very good stuff. Okay. Um, well, yeah, that about does it. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick little thing, because I really like this game, and I think it's really fun. Uh, go get this game. Uh, it's 13 bucks on Steam. Support the developers. Uh, I don't know if I said it earlier, but this game is still in early access. So it's really important that you go support it right now so that they can the developer can keep working on it I'm pretty sure it's just one dude working on it by himself so props to that guy this game is very fun especially with friends um, but yeah like I said go out get this game it's great have a good time with it but thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next spooky ghost adventure if there is one bye